case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 2004 legal case of John S. Clark Company v. Travelers Indemnity Company, a building contractor sued Travelers Indemnity Company of Illinois and the Herrera defendants for payment and indemnity for various losses and damages, including improper installation of rebar and faulty workmanship. The case was initially brought to federal court, but both the plaintiff and the Herrera defendants filed motions to have the case remanded to state court, arguing lack of subject matter jurisdiction and defective notice of removal. The United States District Court for the Middle District of North Carolina carefully reviewed the case and determined that the Herrera defendants were properly joined under Federal Rule of Civil Procedure 20A, which details the conditions for permissive joinder. As a result, the court decided to remand the case to state court, awarding the plaintiff costs and attorney fees under 28 U.S.C. Section 1447 C. Traveler's motion to dismiss the Herrera defendants was considered unnecessary and was denied. The case ultimately proceeded in state court, with the parties focused on the issue of whether the Herrera defendants met the conditions for permissive joinder under Federal Rule of Civil Procedure 20A. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.